Hey everyone, Dale here with Pacific Sun Technologies. I feel that I've talked a lot on battery storage options and solar panel manufacturers in recent weeks. Speaking of manufacturers, I know my video on the Tesla solar roof uh, has uh, received quite a bit of uh, feedback, um, but someone in the comments did leave some detailed information on those modules. Uh, so I do have some more information, so I will be doing a follow-up video. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel so that way you get more information on it. Um, come to find out that panel produces 24 watts and uh, has an efficiency of 4.9%. Um, so, you know, just a little sneak peek, but yeah, make sure to subscribe. I'll be doing that video uh, for a follow-up on the Tesla solar roof in the coming weeks. But I haven't talked about solar inverter options because without that, you can't convert the DC power of your solar panels to AC power and, and that's what everything in your home runs off of. So today's video is an important one and I'll help you decide which is best for your situation and wallet. But before I get into it, please, again, be sure to subscribe to the channel. It only takes two seconds. You just gotta click that button down below and while you're at it, hit the little bell icon too. That way you'll receive notifications on future videos just like this one and like the updated solar roof one that I'll be doing. Now let's talk solar inverters because there are a lot of different manufacturers out there and I've done a video previously on the benefits of microinverter systems versus a string inverter system. That video didn't compare though, the two leading solar inverter options, SolarEdge, which is an optimized system, and Enphase, which is a microinverter system. But before we talk about the pros and cons of each, let me fill you in on how the two differ. So Enphase is a microinverter system, which means a small inverter is attached to each panel. Now while SolarEdge uses a solar panel optimizer, which is also attached to each panel, but it's connected to a single inverter. So it's not converting the, uh, the power right there on the roof. And for you to understand the pros and cons for each, you have to understand how they both work. So let's start with SolarEdge because this is our most popular choice. SolarEdge, a little backstory, is a global leader in the solar inverter industry with nearly 15 years of cutting edge technology. They are traded in the NASDAQ or on the NASDAQ and has shown continuous growth in revenue and gross margins. The company's financial strength and stability combi combined sorry, with its cutting edge technology makes SolarEdge the preferred partner for solar installers like us, Pacific Sun Technologies. Globally, SolarEdge has shipped, I mean, this is a big number, 14.6 gigawatts of power as of this video with over 1.3 million systems activated. So they're not just any inverter manufacturer. And this is important for you as a consumer to know this information because honestly, what good is a product if the manufacturer goes out of business? It's not very good. So here's what makes SolarEdge so unique. They were the first solar inverter manufacturer to develop a solar panel optimizer to work in conjunction with a solar inverter. What this allowed for is module level monitoring, but more importantly, voltage regulation. This means you can see the power output of each panel on your roof, and if one is underproducing for any reason like shading, the rest of the modules are unaffected. This is the same for Enphase microinverter systems, but with one significant difference being that a solar edge optimizer sends the DC power of the solar panel to the one inverter that converts it to AC power, whereas Enphase microinverter converts that DC energy from the solar panel to AC right there on the roof. The solar edge optimizer allows you to produce the most amount of power day in and day out. And if an optimizer goes down completely, that's okay because the solar optimizer is covered under a 25 year warranty. And like I said a minute ago, it will not affect the other solar panels or optimizers it's connected to. Moving on to the inverter, SolarEdge has pushed the technology so much in recent years by not only improving its efficiency to 99%, it's literally almost a hundred percent efficiency. So almost no energy is lost when it's converting it from DC to AC. And 
the standard inverter warranty is 12 years, which is two years more than a traditional string inverter. And for preferred or certified partners like ourselves, we have the ability to extend the warranty to 25 years. One of the advantages that many tend to overlook and see as a con is that if the inverter fails, the entire system shuts down. And this is true, and it is bad, but a quick warranty call will get you back and get you back up and running before you know it. But this is what's important and often overlooked. So you have a 12 year or a 25 year warranty on this product, and you were likely to see a product discontinued as it evolves. And we've seen a ton of solar inverter products discontinued and replaced with something that isn't really compatible with older solar panels. We don't see that too much with string inverters or optimized inverters like the Solar Edge, but we have been seeing it with older microinverters versus new microinverters not being compatible with older panels and each other. Yeah, so they don't communicate to one another, which means you would likely need to pay out of pocket for additional components that your older system doesn't have or receive a refurbished part because they're not going to keep producing the older microinverters. But with SolarEdge, the optimizer, now that technology is not likely dr to drastically evolve in the next 25 years. It may get a little smaller, maybe even get more efficient. Mind you, it is 99% efficient, but the fundamental communication protocols will likely remain the same. And if they do change, SolarEdge is really likely to integrate those protocols into a new inverter. So if your solar inverter fails, it's okay. Sure, your system's down for you know a week or two, but you'll get the latest and greatest covered under your warranty and you won't have any out-of-pocket expenses to make a newer micro or product work with your older system. Now, this leads me into Enphase and their microinverter systems. We currently offer both, if you haven't caught on to that, SolarEdge and Enphase to our customers. And of course, if you live in our area of Southern California, take a minute, visit our website and you know request a quote. If you're looking for solar, we wanna give you a quote. You know, It doesn't hurt to get a competing quote. And we offer them to you because they're honestly the best products on the market. And we've gone over some of the key advantages to a SolarEdge optimized solar system, but let's look at some of the pros and cons for our Enphase. So Enphase was founded right here in California in March of 2006 by two gentlemen. Together, they introduced the world to the first microinverter system in June of 2008. By September of 2011, Enphase hit a milestone of 1 million microinverters shipped. And by the end of 2011, Enphase has, was, was shipping globally. In March of 2012, Enphase went public and began trading on the NASDAQ. Over the next five years, Enphase brought a broader vision of their product to the market. This included battery storage and home energy monitoring. And just like I said for SolarEdge, this company's history is valuable for you to know because what good is their product and their warranty if they can't or won't be around to back it? So let's talk about Enphase and their microinverters and how they're unique now. The biggest selling point for our customers and for Enphase themselves is the ease of scalability and upgradability within their ecosystem. What I mean by this is since every solar panel and microinverter act independently from one another, you can add on to your system as your energy demands change over the years. This is fairly inexpensive when compared to a string inverter or an optimized system like SolarEdge because typically with those systems, and depending on how much solar you're looking to add, you'll probably need an entire new inverter. Not saying you can't add a couple panels to these systems, you know, the SolarEdge systems, but they're not as scalable as Enphase microinverters. Enphase allows for module level monitoring, just like SolarEdge. And if a module or microinverter fails, it's all right because they all act independently of each other. All microinverters shipped as of this video come with a 25 year warranty standard, nothing to upgrade there. 
Enphase currently has four different microinverters that can be used to pair with different wattage panels. And this is where you should really be paying attention when looking at a solar system because the price between these four is drastically different. And this is where some solar companies tend to take a little bit of a shortcut because consumers don't realize this. So you could have a very high wattage, hot premium panel, but they might pair it with a very, with the lowest micro wattage microinverter, you know, so you're gonna get this clipping effect. So you're not gonna get all the power out of that panel because they're selling you the cheaper microinverter. Let's talk about these four microinverters, all right? So the first one is the IQ7. This is the lowest wattage microinverter and it should be paired with panels less than 305 watts or right at 305 watts. The IQ7 Plus is the next level up microinverter and should really be paired with panels between 310 to 340. You do see it uh, paired with 400 watt panels uh, in commercial application, that's fine, but residential, you really should be using this with 340 at the max. Now there's the IQ7X, which is a special microinverter in phase developed exclusively for Panasonic HIT modules. But a lot of people don't realize it actually works with Q-Cell's duo modules because it's designed for a, a higher voltage range that Panasonic and the Q-Cell duo modules achieve. So those, those should be paired together ideally. Now, the IQ7A is the newest microinverter and offers the highest power output. It should be paired with modules greater than 350 watts. Now, I didn't talk about this with SolarEdge because it's easy to pair your inverter to your solar system size. Now, I got a couple examples for you. If you have a four kilowatt solar system, then you'd pair it with a 3.8 kilowatt inverter. See. Inverter manufacturers aren't gonna have like a, uh, an inverter to match every exact system size. It's gonna be, you know, within 20% in most cases. So if you have a five kilowatt system, you can either go with the five kilowatt inverter or go with a six kilowatt inverter if you plan on adding more. If you have a larger system, like an eight kilowatt or a nine kilowatt solar system, you'd likely pair it with the seven kilowatt inverter or the 7.6 kilowatt inverter from SolarEdge. Now, in closing, it was kind of hard for me to, you know, actually say one system or manufacturer is better than the other because they both have their pros and cons in different categories. And honestly, we sell a lot of both. So it really depends on your situation and what you're trying to achieve. But what I have realized with our customers, there's two key factors here for choosing which one is best for you. If expandability is important to you because you plan on buying an electric vehicle or putting in a pool or having a hydroponic, hydroponic garden, because all this means you're gonna use more power, then Enphase will likely be a better option for you. But if you want the most bang for your buck and expandability isn't as crucial because you don't plan on using more power or doing all this stuff I just mentioned, then SolarEdge is a better option for you. Well, thanks for watching. That's it for today's video. We, I really do appreciate you watching the video so far. And so for doing that, I got a special little offer for customers that are interested in going solar in our area. I'm offering you $500 off your solar quote. All you gotta do, like the video, share the video, subscribe to our channel, and of course, inquire on our website. And of course, you know, it, it's pretty easy. It doesn't hurt to get a competing bid. And heck, you mentioned this, you're gonna get 500 bucks off. So, you know, thanks.